We're ready for another exciting day at the Sea Wayne Club for the Limbrook Mayor's Golf Outing. And this year, we have a record turnout, three outstanding honorees, and just the most beautiful weather for golf. We finally have a good weather day on Long Island, and we're delighted to be here at the Sea Wayne Club for a day of golf, fun, and a few awards presentations at the end of the day. We have a full field today. We have a lot of great enthusiasm and participation from the business community, from the residential community, and it's just in support of the Limbrook Community Fund. And the Chamber of Commerce is happy to join in this effort and sponsoring it and co-sponsoring it with the uh, Community Fund. And the mayor, uh, Bill Hendrick, he promised me a good day because we're honoring his Monsignor. And he says, that would make good weather, and sure enough, it did. I also spoke to my rabbi, so we had it covered both ways. So we have a great weather, we'll have great golf out there, and a, and a good time afterwards with the award presentation. So thank you to everybody for attending today. Thank you to the business community for their support, their sponsorship, their uh, a willingness uh, to support the mayor and support the community as we enjoy a day of golf here at the Sea Wayne Club. Okay, I want to welcome everybody to the uh, mayor's golf outing. Uh, we're honoring Father Bill and uh, uh, we're honoring Brian Fern and we're also honoring Art Matson. And we're going to have a great day. The weather is great and everybody's here ready to go. So uh, if you weren't here, uh, you missed a great outing and a great breakfast. So uh, watch this and uh, next year you'll sign up. Thanks again. Well, this is my first golf outing because I'm not that great a golfer, but I am one of the three honorees today, along with Brian Fern and the Monsignor, and very proud to be that. Um, I just hope I don't hit too many balls in the water and into the, the bunkers, but uh, I'm, I'm out here to have a lot of fun today. Good morning, and welcome to the Mayor's Golf Outing. I'd like to congratulate Brian Fern, Art Matson, and of course, Monsignor Bill. It's a great day, the weather's going to be wonderful, and uh, we're starting it off with a beautiful breakfast. The chef did a great job. you got to show some of this food the chef is making for us here. He did a wonderful job and a very tasty. It's really a lovel lovely day. Hi everyone, my name is Denise Rogers and I'm president of the Limbrook Chamber of Commerce. I want to thank everyone for coming here today and supporting this great event. We have great honorees, Monsignor Bill from Our Lady of Peace Church, Art Matson, and Brian Fern. Thank you for supporting us, thank you for supporting the Limbrook Community Chest and for coming out today for this wonderful event. Thanks. Hi, I want to thank everyone for coming to our uh, 2014 Mayor's Golf Outing. It's a beautiful day here at Sea Wayne Country Club. And again, you know, the outing sponsors a great, a great group in the, in the community chest, which helps a lot of people in our village who need a hand. We also have some great honorees in, fall, in Monsignor Bill, Brian Fern, and Art Matson today. But I mean, it's just a great day to be out with people who care in this community and who are raising money for the community chest. A great day of golf, a great event, and uh, you know, come out and enjoy it. It's a, it's a fun day, and we hope to see you here next year. Thank you. Just want to welcome everyone uh, to today. We've got a beautiful day here at the Sea Wayne Club. Uh, we're looking forward to almost 100 golfers, I believe, and um, just to benefit the community chest. Welcome, and go Limbrook. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Limbrook Community Chest Golf Outing here at the Sea Wayne Country Club. And I'm so glad that we have a good turnout today and thank everyone for being a part of this and 
helping to raise some much needed monies for our community chest, which goes a long way in terms of helping our residents and our neighbors who have fallen on hard times. So thank you everybody, enjoy this great day, and I'm really looking forward to getting a lot of whole in ones. Thank you and God bless. Well, this is just the beginning. I can't tell you what it's gonna be like when I finish up today, but I'm feeling very good. The food is, is wonderful. Uh, uh, we've got an absolutely beautiful day. They're talking about a little bit of rain, but maybe that'll pass us all. But I uh, want to congratulate uh, our mayor, Bill Hendrick, and of course, all those involved in the, uh, the community fund, which helps raise money for, um, for the disadvantaged in, in, in Limbrook and people in need. And uh, I want to also congratulate Jeff Greenfield. He does a great job each and every year that he's chaired this outing. And uh, he brought us a beautiful day anyway. They say that, you know, you, the, the rabbi promised us a beautiful day. So we're, we're in great shape. So. We hope everybody has a great time. Thanks. Uh, just, uh, it's nice to be here. It's nice to be honored. Uh, I keep uh, wondering why everyone's congratulating me, but you know, you're in a great town and uh, they do a lot of nice things for people. So I'm just uh, glad that I can contribute to the town and, and be involved with such a great event. So thanks for having me. I'm Trustee Hillary Becker and I'm here with the Renz brothers. Uh, these are two fine Lumbrook gentlemen and uh, I would say that Adam has the edge because he's a Titan wrestler. <laughs> Richie is not a Titan wrestler. Well, I wish both of you guys good luck uh, in today's outing. Thank you. Thank you. And we have a beautiful day today. Um, probably the best day of the, of the year so far. It's like 70 degrees, no rain in sight. I feel good. Are you guys going to be playing together? Yes, unfortunately. Uh, but I'll be driving the cart. That's important. <laughs> well, listen, no half Nelsons, okay? Half Nelsons in golf are illegal, all right? Oh, I just want to give a shout out to our good friend Hillary for being inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Hill. Thank you very much and
day for God. for this year after we were down around 50, 60 and I was in nervous panic and I really want to thank them. Now, the man that makes this all happen for us, the man that inspires us, and the man that one day at breakfast picked up the tab, that's, and when we had a full committee meeting too, so everyone was there. Let's hear it for our mayor, William Henry. First, I want to say that uh, that check was over $95. I'll never pick it up again. What? Jeff had two preferences. It was $75. What do you want? No, it wasn't. It was no, no, no. $91. Yeah. It was, you weren't there. It was a big tip. You weren't there. Second, I want to uh, thank everybody for coming. It was a great, great affair. Raised a lot of money for the uh, community chest. I don't know how much yet, but it's a lot of money. Uh, we're going to sell, I think we sold all the raffle tickets we're going to sell, correct? Denise, we got a few more that are available for somebody. There's a few more left. So if you haven't, if you haven't them, grabbed them yet, there's a couple nice more. Prizes. couple more left. All these prizes were uh, picked up by Jeff. He is old, not only the chairman, but I want to thank him. He thanked the committee, but I want to thank Jeff. For one, for one, getting us this grand place to come to. Without Jeff, they wouldn't have been the door, I'll tell you right now. And, and Stu and all, we thank the committee and Bill and who else? I'm going to miss somebody. Uh, and uh, Patrick and, and uh, Bill, Bill, I didn't, my name. Carol, Carol, Carol. Carol and Carol. I, I miss Bill Burgo and who else? No, I'll do that. I'll do my own speech, please, okay? But, but, um, maybe, maybe, maybe the mayor for proper center would like to get up and help you out. He probably would, but he's not getting up. <laughs> but last thing I wanted to say is on the committee was uh, a very special, hardworking person. He's always there for me, and he always made my golf outing a uh, big success, is Deputy Mayor Allen Beach. Yeah. I want to recognize a couple of people, or I miss you, just raise your hand. Of course, the President of the Chamber, Denise Rogers. Yeah. And then uh, uh, the Mayor of Rockville Center, Fran Murray. 
PBA president, uh, where is he? Joe Sapola. Police Chief Joe Neve. Pat McDermott. Where is Phil Haley? Oh well, the hell with you. Uh, Fran Beck is here. Thank you, Fran. And also, no. Also, uh, John Giordano, our clerk. Hello, oh, John. Fire Chiefs, uh, who's here? Mike Anderson, Jim McDermott, and Carl Lango. Thank you, guys. And last but not least is Tony Santino. He's always there for us. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Judge Bill McLaughlin. Bill, thank you for being here on the table. We're all clapping. There's Bill Gaylor here. Judge Gaylor. Well, Bill Gaylor's here anyway. Set up, Bill. Best president. All right, did he miss anybody? Celebrity bit. Peter Ludwig, village attorney. I saw you. I'd like Judge McLaughlin, who is going to introduce us this time, to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes. Please come up. Hand over heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, we want to have a quick uh, invocation, please, Francis Becker, come up and lead this in a prayer. All right, we, we, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day we've had, this wonderful uh, the camaraderie we share amongst each other. Uh, Lord, forgive me for saying I had a hole when I, when I really didn't. It was a bogey. I was actually a, a mulligan. And, uh, and we, thank, we, we thank you, Lord, more than anything for... Uh, it was here. It's a here. It's a Exactly. Uh, we want to thank you, first of all, for our men and women in uniform around the world. We ask you to applaud them even in prayer at this moment as they serve our country and defend our freedom. Please applaud them now. Thank you. And your blessings on all those people in need in our community, and we ask your blessings on this wonderful community, uh, the community chest, and, and, and Jeff Greenfield and the entire committee, who are raising money this evening for those who are in need, and uh, we, we we're very thankful for that. And and we uh, we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to live in the greatest country in the world, the United States of America, and the greatest community in the world, the Book USA. Thank you. Thank Amen. You. We have presentations now. Um, could my board come up, Alan, Tom, Hillary, and Mike? All of our boards. While, while the board is making their way up here, we had a uh, virtual or video journal. There are copies on your table. It was playing inside there. Bill Obergo for the video home editing from our chamber and part of the committee. Bill, thank you very much for your efforts on this. We appreciate it. <laughs> Extra copies up here. And uh, we, we appreciate all our sponsors who sent in uh, sponsorships and journal ads to be part of it. So we want to hear it from all our sponsors. When you look at this CD, you'll see all the sponsors. Let's hear it for the sponsors. Now, our cocktail hour was sponsored by the Libra PBA. I want to thank Joe and the entire PBA for their sponsorship. No raffles yet. <laughs> you can't take it home. Yeah. Yeah. Open up your pockets, your show. I uh, neglected. By the way, if I knew Joe was to pull that and the PBA would pay him for that, I would have.
bit even more. <laughs> but um, I want to thank our senior action committee, our really president of the senior club, Kathy Ski. Thank you very much for being the watcher of the whole one. Unfortunately, you didn't watch Fran, who got a home and elsewhere, and it was really a bogey, so uh, next time watch him. I want to thank uh, Flo Brooks, and who else is here? Is Peg still here? And, uh, 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 I'm sorry, and Catherine Dunupelt? Eleanor, I'm sorry, Eleanor Dunupelt. And, I'm sorry, and... Rosie is also here with us too. So uh, <laughs> thank you very much for all your help. I'm sorry, I forgot the DPW guys. How could I forget them? They ate more than any five other people here. So thank you very much. Okay, now we have the uh, presentations. The first one is for Arthur Madsen. He's our uh, Historian extraordinaire. He keeps us knowing the past and maybe hoping another future. Art, would you please come up? You're honored by this. settling Apple Center or in Garden City or some of the other places that had actually books of history written. We moved to Limerick and we were lucky because almost everybody in the town thought that the village had begun in 1911, which is true. It was incorporated then. Little did they know, as I then found out, our history went back to 1790. And I've had a wonderful time in this village helping to reconstruct that history up until my book until 1940 and I'm working on uh, bringing it up to date, but it's been absolutely a fabulous journey here in Lindbrook, and uh, I'm just so thrilled that we picked this village as our home. I also have a proclamation for Brian Kern, who could be here. I wanted to say congratulations, and here's his proclamation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tony can do all the end, right? Okay, next. Come on, stay up, stay up. You'll take a couple of pictures, all right? Next, we have Brian Fern, restaurateur extraordinaire. Are you here right now? member of the community a long time. Great eatery. You're a pillar of the community, and I want to thank you for coming today, and we'd love to honor you. You know, it's, 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 it's an honor to be here. I was a city, born and raised in the city, um, so the small village was a, a big uh, jump for me. And uh, unfortunately, my family can't be here. I live in Westchester. Not because we don't want to be in Lindbergh. It's, it's a great town. I had a fire. Um, the support from the village was fantastic. Um, I've, I've created such great friends here. I'd like to actually acknowledge the champions that are here. Um, and, uh, it's, it's actually my honor to be involved with something like this because it is a great village and um, you guys are fantastic and thank you. I also want to say two other words. I neglected to say uh, one. Is, did I mention you, uh, uh, Brian Stanton? Oh, you did not. All right, I'm not going to do it now, okay? <laughs> Stand up, Brian. Thank you. And your wife. Also, 
Also, I didn't mention Pat Champy. I'm sorry, but I knew someone else would mention it, so I would save you for the end. <laughs> Now I'm getting, behind me, I'm getting from the, uh, from the uh, peanut gallery. I did mention Pat McDermott, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you yelling that out? It's Hillary, I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to mention also that we have some representatives from the Historical Society of East Rockaway and Liberal. They're also chamber members. And we have uh, Stephanie Madelon here as a director. And we have Madeline Pearson, who is the executive director of the historical society. I want to mention that Father Monsignor Bill was supposed to be here. He was honored today, and we all honor Monsignor Bill. He's hopefully not leaving us, but probably is soon. And uh, if anything you could do, we have a we have a. Some uh, prop, uh, not proclamations. Some uh, some uh, forms to sign petitions. Thank you, Ron. Petitions to sign to keep Father Bill here, and so maybe we sign much, uh, more more of them. We'll be able to win that race. But Father Bill could not be here because had he called away. His father is ill, and we're very sad about that. And uh, we're saving his uh, proclamation, his uh, his awards for the last mass he serves apparently on June 22nd, the party afterwards. So please, everybody wants to be there, come down to all of it. Having said that... 11 o'clock, Ben. Yeah. What's that? 11 o'clock, Ben. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> all right, thank you, Mayor. We were here for a golf outing today. Remember that? And we have some winners that we want to recognize today for the Lindenbrook Mayor's Golf Outing. We had some players that had an outstanding round of golf today. And we have gift certificates for all our winners, redeemable in the pro shop. And the pro shop downstairs will stay open for a half hour after the program's open. So you can go shopping. First place, Gross, with a 66. John Ferrante, John Chang, Paul Fespo, Michael Schwenk. With a 46, Karen Bauer, MJ Bella, Theo, Theo M for the diamond. Bob Rowley Hollis. Whatever. And William Gaylor. What was the score? 46, first step. Come on down. Second net with a 58, Doug DeGilio, John Winder, Dan Ambrosino, Tony Pepe. Okay, next. 
next is closest to the pin. For the men, Richie Renz, eight inches. Who is in that person that can verify that? Adam. Richie left. He, uh, he was waiting for closest to the buffet and he won this instead. We'll get it to him in a minute. <laughs> Women's Patricia Mazil. Richie. Is it true? Closest to the pin? Okay. Good job, John. You are the They said to be closest to the Okay, now we're going to move on a little bit. I want to apologize, and I knew she was here, but everybody's hissing at me so much, they made me forget Alice Marie Bresnahan, the president of the board. I'm sorry, but they're all yelling at me all the time. They don't stop, including Jeff. Now we want to uh, ask if the senior councilman of the town of Hempstead would come up and give his proclamations to our honorees. And uh, oh, there you go. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, since I'm the last thing between uh, all of you and the prizes, I'm not going to take a long time, but I'm just... Really honored and privileged to be here tonight. Uh, Community Chest here in Limbrook does such a wonderful job. And you're honoring three uh, truly outstanding citizens, uh, Monsignor Bill and Art and Brian, uh, people who each in their own way make Limbrook such a wonderful place to live and to raise a family and to do business. And I think you saw it here over the last 10 minutes or so, uh, what really makes Limbrook special. Because while there's a lot of kidding around and there's a lot of uh, uh, fellowship and, uh, and, and, and jovial banter. It, this is really a community that is welcoming. It is a community that is close-knit. It's a community that's warm. And you have a village board that truly uh, likes and respects each other. But when they get down to business, uh, it's all business. And they do a wonderful job on behalf of the residents of the uh, other great village. So, uh, so my congratulations to your honorees. Uh, my, uh, my congratulations uh, to uh, the, uh, the golf committee and everybody here uh, at Community Chess, but uh, I want to particularly thank, uh, I want to particularly thank uh, Mayor Hendrick and his board for really doing such a wonderful job and really, really setting an example of public service. So I'm going to come over to Brian and give you the awards.